Welcome to Living Life in Toronto. I'm your host, Leanna Rico, and tonight in studio we have the lovely Christina. Thank you for joining us. So um, tell me, what is yoga or what is Bikram yoga? Um, Bikram yoga is hatha yoga in a heated room and the room is heated to about 40 degrees Celsius and there's also 40% humidity. So you're meant to sweat and the sweat helps you detoxify your body. And it's also a sequence of postures. So Bikram yoga is uh, 26 postures and we do each posture twice. Okay. And what kind of um, people tend to take these type of classes? Uh, well, the actual class is a beginner class. It's for all skill levels. So we have people who are brand new, who've never done yoga before. And we also have people who've been doing it for years, like five, ten years. And it's for any age. Um, so we have some children, like even 12 years old. But it's, okay. it's more popular for like 16 and up. We even have people in their 80s. And do they take like, um, like do they come to like a few classes during the week? Or like do they learn like the postures during like the one hour sessions? or? How does it work, basically? Oh, well, each session is 90 minutes. Okay. And we have some people who just drop in and do a class once in a while. And then we have some people who are regular and come every day. Um, you can, it's recommended to do it every day. Minimum three times a week is ideal. But some people can't fit into their schedule. So it's, some people are more like once in a while. They combine it with other exercise, too. Yeah. And do you like suggest them to come more often? or? When people first come, we tell them we have an intro special, so they get one month and they can, it's unlimited, and we tell them to do as much as they can in the first month because in your first 30 days is like the best day, time to really get into it. And the more you do, the faster you'll get used to it because it is hard at first. Right. The more you do. The, I was going to yeah. say, because like, I'm completely not flexible. Mm -hmm. So like, would I um, have troubles doing it or like, can I take breaks and like... Yeah, I, um, it's actually, it's for anyone. So like, you don't have to be an acrobat or anything. Okay. You don't have to be flexible. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, it's for anyone. And actually, if you're not flexible, it's the best thing for you because the heat helps you to get into the postures. Um, and we have people who are really, they have um, many issues, like frozen shoulder and like lots of issues right. that they think they can't do yoga, but this will really help them. Mm -hmm. And because we do the same postures, it allows you to improve in your postures. And you always work on the same things. And it's not boring because every time you come, your body's always changing. So it really, people find the repetition and postures really helps. Right, so how did you um, get started with the Bikram yoga? Uh, well, I just, I started yoga a, f a few years ago, like five or six years ago, just oh, half wow. yoga. Yeah, and then my mom got me into it actually. I started going to yoga with her. And my first yoga class I watched, I was seven years old. I was home sick from work, from school, and then I had to go with my mom because she had her class sick with so I was just watching and giggling, so yeah. that was funny. And then, um, and then she got me into that yoga too later. And then, so I was going to yoga, and then my friend suggested I try hot yoga because I really like going to saunas because I like sweating and like I like going for to get toxic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And okay. then, and then I liked yoga, so it was like a good mix. Right. That's when I started this. So when I started this, I stopped the other yoga because it's my favorite. But I always try different yogas too. Well, and what are like some benefits from doing it? So if I um, start yoga now, like are there any, I guess, changes I would see? Is it like, does there um, anything that have to do with like um, water weight or, because I know some people talk about it with like weight loss and some people talk about like flexibility and you know, like um, you were saying before, like, you know, gaining muscle and stuff like that. So like, what would somebody see that's been, I guess, practicing it for a bit? Well, there's so many benefits, but Definitely you'll see like muscle toning, strengthening, you could lose like lose any pounds that you want to lose. It's really good to regulate your weight. So if you need to gain or lose weight, it'll help with that. Okay. So even if you're underweight, it really helps you gain your weight back. So what could I expect being a new student at your studio? Uh, well, for new students, we always suggest that they don't eat two to three hours right before the class. Oh, okay. It's better to come without full stomach because since, uh, especially because of the heat, so you, you might feel a little bit nauseous, especially your first class, you just want to drink lots of water. Um, so let's say you came to a morning class, maybe have like a fruit or a banana like an hour or two before. And can I take breaks and such like during the class itself or? Yes, yeah, so when you go into class, it is 90 minutes. So we always say it's good to stay in the class a whole 90 minutes. Also for everyone's in the class, working together, we like to keep everyone in the room. So it's not like, if you only want to do an hour, it's not like you can leave after an hour. So, but we don't, there's no pressure. So if you right. ever need a break, you can sit down as many times as you oh want. 
You can lie down if you I need to. Say, I don't think I could last a full 90 minutes for my first class. <laughs> yeah, especially for your first couple of classes, 90 minutes feels like a long time. But the more you do it, you do get used to it. Right. So we, we, always, we actually tell people, sit down. Like, I might look at someone and say, oh, you need to sit down. Because, you know, some people do get a little faint sometimes. That's true. You're just not used to sweating that much and you're not used to being active maybe in the heat also and most problem people have is they forget to breathe so we oh, always, really yeah because they're like and they hold their breath and they're trying to do the posture but we always remind people to breathe especially through, through in and out through your nose and I know that's a big thing with yoga too right mm -hmm. like that's a main component when you're doing those positions yeah for sure and also you're not if you're not breathing you're not relaxing and you're not really doing the yoga posture how you should so it's, it's a, it is intense like the postures are challenging, but you also have to remember to breathe and relax at the same time. Oh so God. it's hard when you're when you're new. A lot of people really push themselves, and that's when they get really dizzy too. So instead of rushing out of the room, it's safer to sit down on your mat too. Because if you are feeling dizzy, you don't want to run out into the cold hallway. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So are there any like benefits to the yoga, like scientifically or? There's been lots of studies with Bikram yoga. And one in particular for women with their bone density. So lots of women that started yoga or Bikram yoga before the age of 40, they were able to maintain their bone density when they went through, into, through menopause. Oh, really? Yeah, so they did lots of studies with that. And they, he actually has on his website on BikramYoga.com, they have all the studies and research papers on this. So it's really good to help prevent osteoporosis. And is so it's it, really good for women and everyone. Yeah, is there um, like a set thing that you need to follow when you're dealing with Bikram yoga and like who is the founder of it additionally? Well, uh, well Bikram is, uh, Bikram Chowdhury was the founder of it and he started yoga at a really young age in India and he was actually, he was a, a champ, yoga champion for about three years in a row and then he started weightlifting and he was a weightlifting champion but then when he was 17 he dropped a heavy weight on his knee and they basically were going to amputate it. Like they said, he would never walk again. So then oh. he started yoga and like really started yoga to, to cure his knee. And then he actually cured it. So then from then on, that's when he decided he wanted to teach yoga all over the world. So he started teaching in Japan and he developed these, these 26 postures. So he could teach to lots of people and like many people all at once. So he wanted just because the way he first started teaching yoga was he would go individually and then diagnose what their problem was and see what postures would help them. Mm -hmm. So he came up with this 26 postures that would work all of your body and they'd be good for any person. So any, mm -hmm. any beginner person could start. So how did you get interested in yoga and start your own studio? Uh, well, I, I started Bikram Yoga about almost five years ago and I loved it. And then after I finished school, I decided I wanted to become a teacher. So I went to teacher training and I, I've been teaching for almost a year now. And then I just decided I loved it so much I wanted to have my own studio. That's awesome. So where could somebody go that's interested in doing Bikram Yoga? Well, um, we have a lot of information on our website, BikramYogaRH.com. And we're located in Richmond Hill at Bayview in Major Mackenzie. That's awesome. Thank you very much for joining us today in the studio. That's it for Living Life in Toronto. I'm your host, Leanna Rico. I hope you have a great night.